Hey everybody, thanks for joining us. Brent here from my50.com and today we are looking for Harley Davidsons in Japan. So we're on our auctions pages. If you want to join up to Japanese motorcycle auctions, head over to my50.com, go to the Japanese auctions link and you can click on over here to register your free account to look at all the stock in Japan. Once you've registered your account, it'll bring you through to all the auctions pages where you can search up bikes on auction. So we'll head on over to the Wednesday auction right over here. And as you see, when you get into the auction, you can search for bikes in a number of criteria, the make, the model, the frame, the year, the CC, whatever it might be. Um, there's a list of bikes or a bunch of bikes that they'll bring up automatically or generically so that you can start looking if you're just randomly looking. Otherwise, like us today, we're here to find Harley Davidson. So we click on the Harley page, see what it brings up. Now, I know a lot of people think that Japanese bikes are found in Japan, but you'll be amazed at how many different kinds of bikes like Harley Davidson's, Ducati's, KTM, Husqvarna, all kinds of bikes are available on these auctions. So here's just some of the Harley Davidson's that are going to be coming up on auction in the next Wednesday auction. Let's take a look at this guy right over here. So we click on there and that brings us through to the actual bike. Um, this will be the same for all bikes. In this instance, this is a rank 5 bike. So the bikes are ranked from 0 being the worst to 10 being the best. Anything from a 5 up, you're getting a relatively good bike. 3s uh, and 4s, you can still get good bargains, but they might be, need a bit of work. Anything below that definitely needs a bit of work. And above that, well, you're practically getting a new bike. So the initial photos will give you an overview of the bike just to give you a general feel for the condition. Is this the kind of bike you're looking at? And then from there, there's around 25 to 30 additional photos, which go into much greater detail. So this is the underneath carriage of the bike, shows you the engine and all different angles of the bike. You'll see here, this is a finger pointing out a scratch that you might not have noticed from the, from the distant photos. They're very good, the auction houses are very good at pointing out all defects and details so that you can make informed decisions. And as you can see, you can obviously zoom in on the photos as well. So as we continue along, there's another that pointing out something over there. There's a bit of a gash on the rim. Can't even see it in the photo, but maybe a little bit of a scratch that you need to be aware of. There you go, there's a, there's a better example where there's a scratch on the rim. I mean, it's so slight, but that's how meticulous they are at giving proper instruction. Once again, probably just a little nick. There's a nick again. So really highlighting the bike and the defects so that you can make informed decisions. There's about 25 to 30 of these photos. That's the dash. You can see that it probably needs a bit of a service. Or maybe that's just the ignition when it comes on the wheel light. Bit of paint scuffing there but nothing too serious and that brings us back to the beginning um, you will also get here this is a 2009 bike so sure given that it's what is that a good few years old already it's not in too bad a condition there's the the model of the bike the frame number the year the meter and the CC. Um, you can also look at the videos. There's a video that's available so that you can see the bike starting and running. And these videos are available also in full screen. I'm going to push play. Uh, you can't really hear it, but there you can see the lights working, indicators working. And it also gives you a good opportunity to listen to the engine so you can understand the condition of the engine. These are the photos that we've been looking at now. And in addition to the photos, you'll see there is a description for each photo. So scratch, rust, master rust, cracked, replace, required. That'll be the tire. Yeah, there you go, tire. So you can really get a good overall feel of what the condition of the bike is. So once you're happy that this is the bike for you to place your bid, once you've uh, got your account at my50.com, you place your bid. We're gonna bid here 900,000 yen on this bike. So it's 900 times the 1,000. And if you have any comments that you'd like to put in here, so for example, check 
engine is good, we can do that for you. It can be any comment. Does the engine and chassis number match? Um, any questions you have about the bike, we can check that for you before the auction happens. Once you're ready to bid, you just click that you've read the terms and conditions and place your bid. So there you have it. That's how you find Harley Davidson's in Japan. If you're looking to buy any bikes from Japanese motorcycle auctions, head on over to my50.com and uh, sign up for your free account and we'd be happy to assist you with buying bikes from Japan.